Hello there, welcome to class. I'm Miss Faust. Please make sure you have paper handy and a pen or a pencil because you're going to need to take down the notes that I have up on the board behind me here. Okay, you'll need them for your assignment. Okay, so today is day one of a research project. Yes, folks, that means there's a day two. What about day three and four? No, don't worry. Just days one and two. All right. So as I said, it is a research project. Yes, something different. You get to go and do some digging. Digging, digging, digging. And find out some information about a person. Oh, how exciting is that? Yes, it, it is exciting. Oh, you're excited. That's great. That's fantastic. I love it. So follow me over here. Oh, you got your paper? Oh, okay. Pen, pens. Fantastic. Follow me on over here. Okay. Maybe I do a little modeling, come over here, then over there. Okay, so as I said, it's a research project day one, and it's this is um part one. Okay, so yes, there will be a part two. two. Oops, looks like somebody just fell down. Okay, no problem. There we go. <laughs> there he is. So silly. <laughs> okay, so this is your assignment. Please make sure that you do copy this information down. Okay, what class are we in? That's the question. <gasps> yes, the 20th century literature class. Mm -hmm. Reading, different kinds of literature, oh yes, from different 20th century writers. Yep, and then writing, oh right. So yes, we will be combining that with this research project. Okay, in a sense. So let's see. Ooh, part one, what is part one all about? What I need you to do is Google. Google a 20th century writer. Yes, 20th century. So what are we talking about? 1900 on to 1999. Not 2000 and not 1899. 20th century. So we're talking 1900 to 1999. You got it. Okay. Now, from one of the following countries. So it's got to be a 20th century writer from one of these five countries. Okay? From one of them. These five. No, not your own choice. No, no, no. No, no, no. Um, you know, one of these countries. So you have a choice. Uh, France, England, Brazil, Russia, or Japan. Countries that are so diverse Okay, so very different, and they have different kinds of writing styles and different ways of thinking. So you're going to learn something, you know, if you decide to pick someone from Japan, you're going to dig into uh, a wonderful writer that represents that wonderful country and find out something, Maybe perhaps the way they think, okay, what their customs are. This is going to be fun. Yes. Yes, indeed. You're going to learn something about a writer, his work, and even the country. So, do we understand up to now? We do. So, let's do this again. Google a 20th century writer from one of these five countries. Okay, France, England, Brazil, Russia, or Japan. Yes, and it is due today. How do I want you to share your information? Here we go. Because I want you to share the information. I want you to do a listing. Does that make sense? So, in other words, you could just go like that and put the person's name and then the dates and so on and so on and so on. Does that make sense? Okay, so you're not writing an essay. It's not an essay format. It's just a listing of what you discover. Okay? So a listing of the name, I need to know who the person is. That will help me. The date of birth, death date, okay? The country, where is this person from? From Russia? From France? Some biographical, in other words, bio info. Give me some biographical information about this individual. Okay. Now, you've got to understand, the key word is right here writer. We're talking about a writer. So no, I don't want you to Google 
their most famous singer, you know, the most famous singer in Brazil, or the greatest soccer player in Brazil, or the greatest soccer player in England. No, no, that's not it. It's a writer. Writers, again, have so much to share. Whether they're American writers, or Mexican writers, or Canadian writers, or Greek writers, they have so much to share. You gotta remember, they represent their countries in a sense. So when they're writing, they're coming from the viewpoint, they're coming from that country's culture. So they share that in their writing, in their writing style and thinking. Okay, so in a sense, you are, if you decide to, wow, this Japanese writer sounds really neat. I want to read something of his. You're going to learn something truly about that country. Okay. So give me biographical information. What is that writer all about? Okay, what's his childhood? Okay, did he come from a very religious family? Were mom and dad instilled religion in him? Okay, so throughout his life he was always very religious. Okay, uh, did he come from a military family? So his work it has to do with the military. Did she um, decide to, yeah, I like to write, but I also like to sing. So she veered off the writing path and did a little bit of singing and then decided, no, 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 it's not for me after all. I'm hitting the 50s and 60s. I'd rather go back to writing. And ended up being one of the most famous French writers. That's what we're talking about. Give me biographical information. And finally, what are some literary accomplishments? We're looking at what kinds of awards did that person get? Here in the United States, you can get you can become poet laureate of a state, of the country. You can get um, the Pulitzer Prize for the greatest poem that year, so to speak. Okay, so what kind of awards? And if the person didn't get awards, but something else, something that shows that yes, he was really loved in that country because everyone bought that poem, that poetry book that year. Hey, that's a literary accomplishment. It could be something with the novels. What novels did he write that we may even know here in this country? What poems? What nonfiction? What if he is an essayist, someone who, who loves to write essays? and is known for being an essayist. There's nothing wrong with that. That is still a writer. So what nonfiction? Is he known for writing three, four autobiographies? In other words, his life, that's his writing. It's all about his life because he had a really fantastic, again, fantastic life. And you're going, you're going really crazy with it, just listing, listing, listing. I'm going, wow, it never ends. That's neat. That's fantastic. Okay. So, any of those, those are literary accomplishments, anything. Maybe he goes, the person goes around the world. Well, obviously did go around the world and it was giving speeches about his work, did poetry readings. But go to little cafes in France and do a poetry reading. Just, you know, might come and have a coffee and a Danish store to speak. And next thing people are like, oh, monsieur. And you're know, like, he's like, okay, I will read a book to you. A little something from my poetry book. Hey, that's a literary accomplishment. Okay. Any questions about what I need you to do for today? Yes, this is for today. Again, Google 20th century. Let's make sure we understand. That is what we're talking about. Okay, if you do have questions, please let me know. You know how to reach me. Finally, I would like you to answer this question. What career interests you and why? Are you interested in becoming um, a registered nurse? Are you interested in becoming a personal banker? A financial advisor? Are you uh, interested in becoming an executive for Holiday Inn? Okay. What career interests you and why? Okay. So that is for today. So please don't forget a listing. You're just doing a listing. 
like here, you get the little bullets, you know, points, and then just write it, write it, write it. But do check your spelling, please, especially with the person's name. Okay, like a Japanese name or a Russian name might be more of a challenge. Okay, so a listing. I'm looking so forward to this research that you'll be doing, and I think you'll enjoy it because you're going to learn about somebody you would never have thought of learning about. Except that Ms. Faust said, this is an assignment and you got to do it. <laughs> so you have that this opportunity. Take advantage of it. You may find a writer that, wow, I never knew the Brazilians wrote such fantastic plays, for instance. Okay? Your writer could be a playwright. Okay? So, for today, the listing and then please answer it. What career interests you and why? And I wish you a very productive and a great fin a fantastic day. Great discoveries. Great discoveries, too. Till next time. Toodaloo.